evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for tonight's main event. 12 rounds in the middleweight division between marvelous Marvin Hagler and Sugar Ray Robinson. Marvin Hagler is making his way to the ring now, and you can see how focused he is on the task at hand. Sugar Ray Robinson's on his way to take this tough challenge inside the ropes, but not much focus and passion in these final moments leading the way here. gentlemen protect yourselves at all times let's touch them up well they've been waiting for this moment and now they get it round one underway well a lot of people were looking forward to this fight and with very good reason when you pit these two guys together it should be a very good fight you don't have to look for either one of them. They are right there to be found, and our fans love that. Teddy, if you were in the corner of Marvelous Marvin Hagler for this matchup, what would you tell him is the game plan against Sugar Ray Robinson? Well, I would tell him, show me how slick you are. Because if there's a flaw in Sugar Ray Robinson, and boy, that, that almost sounds like I should be punished for even suggesting that. But... I would say that sometimes he's a little too easy in moments to catch, to hit. And if I'm Hagler, you don't want to deal and walk into his great strengths, his speed and his great power. We know he has a great chin. So don't try to knock out Sugar Ray Robinson even though you can hit him. Be real slick. Show him that you can make a miss, counter, pick your spots. Be really as smart as you've ever been in your life. Robinson's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Look at this. Another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight. He's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Halfway through this round here. Yeah, hey, you gotta see Targeting that, that overhand go. left. Hagler's got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye, on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. A well-placed left hand up top. That's a momentum changer upstairs. Red hot action to open up this fight. Both men throwing, both men landing. It's been a long time since I've seen something like this. I think it was in a film library. Watcher and Hammer and Hank, the great Henry Armstrong, never took a step backwards kept going forward he comes with the straight right hand and you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there marvin Hagler's left landing well Look at right hand after he got hit. Final 10 seconds of round number one. End 
of the round is upon us. And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. Move that body. You need to move. Right, you got to let your hands go. You have to. You have to be busy. This, this guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to throw... Here we go. Round two is underway. All right, something seriously wrong here, Teddy. It's early on in the fight. Robinson's conditioning is already showing us that he's nowhere near being able to be in this fight. Well, that showed me that he gave up before this fight ever started. And somebody's got to tell him in his corner, you know what? It's harder to quit than it is to fight because you got to live with the results of that quitting. Miss with the headshot. Ray Robinson was able to win the welterweight title, and then won the middleweight title a year later. Teddy, what do you think he was at his best weight at? I think welterweight. I think the greatest welterweight of all time, and that's quite a compliment. Sugar Ray Robinson with a block punch. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Keep working, keep working. Marvin Hagler's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Great job of protecting himself. He's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy. Does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Sugar Ray Robinson was right. Now the question is, can he play stay away? Must be the punch of the day. Both guys Keep bringing home uppercuts. Sugar Ray Robinson has been in with some of the best of all time. It's going to take more than that to get rid of him. Robinson's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Last 10 seconds. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Go, go. And that's the end of round two. Deep Hagler's corner Relax. has to keep him calm. Relax. That's the kind of cut right? that can send a fighter into fix. Yeah, and a corner man into no using one. crazy just, glue instead of adrenaline. Pulled. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. are on him to start this round. Robinson's legs look just a little shaky, but keep in mind, he barely survived that last round. No, but keep one other thing in mind. I agree with you, Joe, but he's been here before. He's very experienced. If anyone knows how to get out of this, he does. Marvin Hagler's got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. 
Robinson's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. It's all right, just keep moving. Sugar Ray was named Fighter of the Year twice, first in 1942, and most recently, at the end of the last century, he was named the best pound-for-pound pound of all time, as well as Fighter of the Decade in the 1950s. Now, the 1950s was part of that golden age of the sport among all weight classes. Jay was fighting even before that, and those are the years where, as you just said very well, Joe, you had so many good fighters all fighting each other and so much activity. That's what people forget about is there were so many clubs around. Every major city had three, four, sometimes five, six, seven clubs. So there was a lot of action. You could fight easily once a week. Robinson's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Hagler able to block Man, that punch. It, baby. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Scores up top with a left. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Accurate with a straight left. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Sugar Ray Robinson. Last 10 seconds of round number three. And this round comes to an end. Beautiful. Beautiful. I want another round exactly like this. This is your fight, all right? You're in complete control of this fight. Now listen, I want you to pick his chin. Let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Then let's get moving out there. Start of round number four, easy scorecard to put together. Sound defense, good block that time by Marvin Hagler. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own, a left hand scores. Hagler's missing the mark by a mile, that just was nowhere to be found. Well, he ties up there, fires off that hook. You're not focusing. Hagler's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Teddy, early on here, you cannot stress enough how much good comes from going to the body. And you can't stress how many times you heard your parents tell you as a kid, Put that change into the piggy bank because it's going to add up. Well, body punches add up. Double up on those punches. Double up. Come on, double up on the punches. Robinson's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Teddy, I'm starting to wonder. What is the answer for this guy? Can he do anything else in this? Yeah, he throws punches, but he has no accuracy. Can this change in mid-fight? Well, it has to if he wants to win this fight. And how does it change? Well, you know, the problem is these things have to be put in place in the gym. I don't know if you could do it right now, but if you could, you tell him in the corner, hey, tighten up a little bit, you know, shorten up these darn punches. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Sugar Ray Robinson.
not hitting his mark there going upstairs. That's a huge left he just scored with. Focus, focus. Wow. Hey, I thought Sugar Ray Robinson was hard to hit. His opponent made it look easy with perfect timing that time, scoring the knockdown. Keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. <laughs> Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by marvelous Marvin Hagler. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. Robinson's got to hope that these 60 seconds are going to pay off for him here. Went down hard in that last round. He's got to gather himself because you know his opponent's going to come right after him when that bell rings. Well placed hook there. Sugar Ray Robinson's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. <laughs> the mark Sugar Ray Robinson's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that find the target get the combination working land both punches still plenty of time to work here in round number five minute and a half to go 